Hey guys, today is a special day. I wish I had some accolade or something to show you to commemorate this special day, but unfortunately I don't, but today's a special day because today is my five year YouTube anniversary. This channel has been around for a lot longer than five years, um, and I'll get a little bit into kind of how I started my channel. I might have shared that story on my channel before, but um, uh, I feel like now is a good time as ever to share my story of how I got started on YouTube. I feel celebratory, but I also am really struggling to know what to do with my channel at this point. Um, I don't want to quit YouTube because I feel like that's not the right thing to do. But it's really hard because I've hustled really hard and the videos that have worked for so many other people like even up until now like in terms of doing covers with you know just kind of like a one shot um have not worked for me and I have really been wrestling with where do I go from here what do I do with this channel um I still love creating and seeing full covers and posting those to my YouTube channel, but I just hate that it's not getting the response that I would like. Um, and yeah, I guess I just wish that this day was a little bit more celebratory because I feel like I have nothing to show for it. Like, I don't have a play button for 100,000 subscribers. I don't have a play button for a million subscribers. I am not even getting paid to make this content. I don't even get AdSense because I don't have enough subscribers and I don't have enough watch hours um, for me to be a part of the YouTube Partner Program, which sucks. Not saying I make a lot of money because I already don't get a lot of views and a lot of my content is copyrighted because it's not my own, but um, still. But I felt led to make this video because of Christina Grimmie. Um, and the reason I say that is because um, for the past couple weeks, I don't know why I've just been thinking about her a lot. I read a book that um, one of her friends, uh, part of Team Grimmie, wrote um, about her faith and kind of just about her music journey and stuff. And oh my gosh, I read that in like two days, which is not normal for me. I normally do not read a book in like two days. And even though it was like 125 pages, um, I just couldn't believe that I read two days because like it was just so inspiring. Like I can't even just say, oh, like this one part of her life was really inspiring. Like the whole, like her whole life was inspiring. Um, so I felt led to make this video and I feel led to keep going, even though I wanted to make a YouTube video after my Battle Belongs cover um, in the fall about how, not that I was quitting YouTube, but like really taking a step back, even though I really have taken a step back as I look back on this past year and how many covers I put out. Um, and I just like hate it, but the amount of time you put in, that I put into those videos and for the payoff that it gets, it just is not worth it to me. Um, I'll still probably do full covers here and there, but I, I honestly don't know what to do with this channel, you guys. I love music and so many people are like, you need to diversify your niche or niche, whatever you want to call it. But I just feel like there's got to be some way that I can make music and singing covers work. I just don't know what that is yet. Um, so I have taken a lot of my time in terms of singing and music, doing other things and prioritizing other things. Obviously, if, you, if you've seen my last few videos, I came second in a local Got Talent competition, which was really exciting. And I'm trying to keep that momentum going, even though I got sick over the holidays, which sucks. So yeah, I just really have been wrestling with what to do with this channel moving forward because I love singing and I feel like I really need to stay generally to one niche roughly in terms of what I do, but um, it's not working out for me and I have no clue what to do. I don't know if this is God just trying to tell me, okay, Emily, like you don't need to be doing YouTube, but I don't know. Um, part of me wants to believe that my my breakthrough is coming, but honestly, the algorithm, algorithm the, I can't talk, <laughs> um, has not been favoring my videos and I think I might know why but I'm like do I just like create a whole new channel that I have to like grow my subscriber base again like I don't know like I don't even have that many subscribers but I have a couple hundred so um I don't really know what to do um so if you guys have any like thoughts suggestions advice even like recommendations of videos you want to see from me leave them down in the comment section below I don't get a whole lot of requests for songs in general um but i also just don't get a whole lot of requests for videos um i really want to keep it to music but like i just don't know what i'm supposed to do at this point but 
So to tell you a little bit about my YouTube journey of how I got started and how I'm still posting content today is um, I think I created this channel in 2011. I can't remember if was that I can't remember if it was ex like right before ninth grade, but something like that. Um, and I'm 25 now, so um, it's been a long time. Um, and I got really into YouTube. I want to say at the end of elementary school because one of my classmates showed me Mike Tompkins and he's like acapella music and <sighs> gotta support my London people. <laughs> um, I love him so much. He's honestly been such an inspiration to me. So I think I created my channel based off of that because I wanted to follow what he was doing because he just started, I think around that time, like really blowing up um, on YouTube with being on The Ellen Show and having videos that reach millions and millions and millions of views. And for 2011, that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, that was also around the time that Justin Bieber blew up as well. My favorite band at the time was Newsboys. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna sing some newsboy songs, or I'm gonna sing some songs or whatever, um, and I'm gonna put them up to YouTube and, you know, I'm gonna be like Justin Bieber, I'm gonna get famous overnight. Of course, that did not happen. Um, you can't go back and find those videos now. Um, I have since deleted them a long time ago um, because yeah, to be honest, I wasn't really taking singing seriously. I kind of was, but I feel like I was taking it too seriously where it wasn't like fun and expressive. It was just like, you know, singing with no, emotion or facial expressions and I didn't edit it either so that's also what didn't help and I started high school and I was not seeing what I wanted to see in terms of you know getting views or whatever so I left them up but then eventually I got rid of them and then I kind of just went through high school and um, didn't really think much of my YouTube channel and then I was applying for colleges and universities um, for acting like I was applying for acting programs and I decided for some odd reason to put up two of my self tapes for an acting audition for a college that I ended up getting an acceptance to, but I didn't take at the time. And funny enough, I think it's my most popular video was one of those self tapes. I've looked back at that video since then and I was like, whoa, she was overacting. <laughs> she was overacting. She didn't know how to act. Um, well, okay, she knew how to act, but like it was just overacting. Um, and those videos are still up, so obviously you can go find those. Um, and I didn't necessarily think I was ever going to come back to YouTube again. So fast forward to, when was this? June of 2017. Yes, June of 2017. I'm trying to remember this all correctly. I went to go see my favorite band for King and Country. I've talked about them. I've covered their songs many a time on my channel. If you don't know, I'm a diehard fan. <laughs> anyway, um, I saw them in concert um, at Canada's Wonderland at a festival called Wonder Jam. <sighs> I miss that festival so much. I'm so sad that it's gone. Anyway, I saw them and I don't know if it was the post-concert depression hitting me before the concert was even over, but I saw them on stage and I literally could picture myself doing the exact same thing. Being on stage, singing to large crowds of people and inspiring people and, you know, sharing hope um, in terms of the gospel and sharing my story. And yeah, like I could see myself on that, on that stage. I could just see myself on stage. Um, and I remembered I had my YouTube channel and I remember like writing a note in my phone on the way home from Canada's Wonderland that night. And I was like, don't let these feelings just be feelings, like take these feelings and turn them into like actions and actually like do something. Um, so it was the end of that summer that I finally put up a, ha, huh, Joel and Luke cover of, um, a song that is, yeah, like, not even, I realized it's not even on an EP, it's not even on an album, this was before For King and Country, um, and I put that up, and that was filmed, yes, in this exact same room, um, and I didn't really have any equipment at the time, and I was going off to university that year, actually, no, I was going back to university for... Was that second or third year? I can't remember, but it was somewhere around there. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't really have any equipment. And like, I don't know if I'm going to like keep doing this, but I kind of think I want to keep doing this. And then I finally got equipment for Christmas that year, Christmas 2017, and then posted my first video titled Hello YouTube 
um, on January 20th, 2018 from my dorm room um, and filmed quite a few of my videos from my dorm room over the few years. Um, and now I'm back here in this room and we're still going because um, I really feel like God's place are calling on my life to sing, um, even though it has been hard, you guys. Like if you follow me for any length of time and know any bit of my story, you know, it's been hard, hard. Um, I'm still trying to work hard and I realize more and more how much I need to try other things and grow, especially vocal training and stuff. So I'm working on that. But if anything, I guess the biggest takeaway from this is like, I'm proud that I'm still doing it as much as I feel like I, it sucks because I feel like I have nothing to show for it. And I feel like there's still going to be people out there who come across this video, or come across my channel. And they kind of wonder like, why is she still posting videos? She has like no followers and she doesn't seem to be growing at, at any quick pace. Um, and I guess I would say that's, that's faith, that's perseverance, that's believing that at some point something is going to work out in my favor. <laughs> uh, honestly, I feel like Watching so many of Christina's videos and knowing so much of her music journey and her faith story, it has been so inspiring to me how much she did in four years and how she got her start on YouTube. Of course, YouTube was so much easier back in the day than it is now um, in terms of breaking through the noise because, yeah, I've had a really hard time. Thank you to everyone who has been with me since like the beginning or near the beginning and I even appreciate all of you that have not even been here that long. I really appreciate all of you guys that really um, continue to show up um, and support me. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> um, all the comments I see and I just yeah I really appreciate it. Um, I wish I had something more to show for five years. I want to still be on YouTube but because I haven't seen the support show up as much as I would like that's part of the reason I'm not always running back to YouTube to do a new cover because if there was a little bit more payoff for my videos and being seen, <clears throat> I feel like it would be more worth it. And to be honest, here's the thing. I was thinking about just like the accolades that I could show for my YouTube channel, to be honest. I don't really want to be famous. There's part of me that wants to be famous. There's another part of me that like just wants to inspire people and wants people to hear my voice and my story um, and yeah, because I just feel like it's really inspiring, and I also don't even really want it for the money either. Um, it, it's complicated because, yeah, like, I know this kind of industry is essentially based on, you know, followers and listens and streams and, and views and, um, followers and money and all this kind of stuff, you know? To be honest, if I was in it for the money or the fame, <sighs> Boy, it would have been round two of me giving up. <laughs> it would have been round two of me giving up, seriously. But I just believe that there's something more um, in terms of what God wants me to do with my voice and with music. Um, even though, yeah, at times I really feel inadequate and I feel like, God, why do you want me to do this? Because I feel like nobody gives a crap. <laughs> and I feel like I am not talented enough or creative enough, but... Um, I know God gives me what I need and ultimately God is the one that does the work through my voice and not me. I just share it and then God does the rest. Um, in terms of accolades, it's not so much like, you know, look, look at what I did because of course it wasn't, it was me, but also it wasn't me at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Um, thank you all for watching. I hate that I'm gone for so long, but it's just been really hard to navigate, um, and I feel like there's so much more I need to learn musically that YouTube in some ways hasn't become a huge priority for me. But I won't be leaving YouTube to the best of my knowledge. And I have a lot of like short clips of me singing live that I have been really bad at posting. Not only just to YouTube, to like social media in general. Like I, I have stuff from October that I haven't even shared on the internet yet. I need to do that. <laughs> I'm just really bad. Sometimes time just slips away from me and I totally forget and... Um, and sometimes I, I either have stuff and I'm like, forget to post it, or I don't have stuff and I'm like, oh, I need to film more stuff. When am I going to film more stuff? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep blabbing on and on if I don't stop. But thank you all for supporting me. Um, five years. I wish I had something to show for it, but 
I hope one day I will have something to show for at least singing and music if it's not YouTube because I understand YouTube may not be the platform for me but I want it to be the platform because that's where I've been inspired the most that's where a lot of people have made it big including Christina Grimmy so I hope one day I might make it big not for my name or for the money but just to inspire people um, through music and through my story so I hope you guys stick with me. Um, and if you haven't already, I'm gonna classically YouTuber do this. Um, <laughs> English, Emily. <laughs> if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel down below and like, comment, and share this video. Not that I feel like you really need to share this video. You can share any of my other videos, especially my singing videos. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for those. <clears throat> losing my voice thank you for those of you that have stuck with me and even those of you that are new i really appreciate your support um and i hope to have a new cover out in the next little while um i've been bobbing around ideas of what i should be seeing next but um yeah i'll see you guys soon